What's up guys, your boy Kaz here, and today I'm going to be showing you some defensive replays for the modified version of the Octagon Tunnel 8 farming base, so let's get right into it. For this first attack, it was a healer giant raid with a combination of goblins and archers. I'm guessing this guy was doing a hybrid farming build. So basically what this guy started off by doing was massing all his giants right into the funneling of my base. So he basically sent 10 giants directly into the base, killed off three of them, lured out my clan castle, and now my dragon is just going completely wild on his entire army. Now right here as you guys are seeing this dragon basically just destroyed all his giants and now the dragon is going on to destroy his goblins that he seems to be trying to mass in in order to steal the gold and the elixir inside my base but it's failing horribly. Now with this next thing this dragon is actually going to be going to kill the healer and then the dragon is going to kill all of the rest of his goblins and his archers and that is basically going to be the end of this raid. Uh, I don't know don't exactly know what this guy was thinking when he went to attack my base. Guys, always when attacking a base, remember to lure out the clan castle. That is the most important part, because that could be the end of the raid for you. This attacker was playing it safe. He ended up sending in one giant in order to set off the spring trap and the funneling. He followed that up with two more giants and a wall breaker. So basically what he was doing, he was luring out my clan castle troops and weakening the walls around my defenses at the same time. So once my clan castle troops are dead, he's going to then mass all his giants in and he's going to try to get in there and take all my resources. So as you see here, he's luring my dragon and the archers into the corner of the map in order to just basically clear them all out and kill them. So here you see he's placing down his clan castle troops full of wizards so you know those wizards are going to completely destroy this dragon because they have a very very strong attack so now just like i said he's now sending in all his giants now his giants are going in his giants are going to end up destroying this cannon but look here real quick uh the giants are going to destroy this archer tower and there's going to be a wall breaker coming in behind the wall breaker is going to destroy the walls but the giants are going to completely ignore the air defense and they're going to just walk into my traps that i had over by the archer tower so now that they ran into that big bomb and that spring trap he lost some giants and his giants are extremely weakened so now my wizard towers and my mortars are just going to keep picking off at these giants and all these barbarians in the center of my base and that's basically going to be it for this raid. All of his troops now are completely dead. And uh, this guy had a very good attack. But just because of that one pathing AI, I won this raid. So in the end, my defense prevailed. For this next attack, the attacker had the right idea. He ended up going in through the side of the base by setting in all his wall breakers and destroying the first two layers of walls. He followed it up with all of his giants, but his biggest mistake was not luring out the clan castle troops. As you saw there, all of his giants ran into a big bomb, heavily damaging them. With the wizards in the clan castle, it didn't exactly help his situation, and all of his giants ended up dying in the end, and it was just a huge waste of a rage spell. He did follow it up by massing in all his archers directly afterwards those archers ended up taking out all of my clan castle troops because of that leftover rage spell and they stole some elixir and a little bit of gold but in the end he didn't end up prevailing in taking any resources at all he only took a little bit while I still have the rest and as you guys are gonna see here he's gonna go in for a last hurrah with his archer queen uh, he's going to try to get that leftover 50% or gold. I don't know. All I know is that his archer queen and archers are about to run into a big bomb right here. And that's going to be the end of this raid. Guys, please remember, always go check for the clan castle troops. Because if you don't check for clan castle troops, that can be the death of your entire raid. Well, guys, thank you again for watching this video. If you can, please comment, like, and subscribe. If you would like to see more defensive replays for bases that I build on this channel, let me know in the comment section below. Peace out and keep on clashing.